Hey guys, what's up? My name is Beat Breaker, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a very important but super simple trick on how you can get the best possible image quality on YouTube. Now, depending on your channel size and how many views you usually get, YouTube chooses a different encoder to re encode the videos that you upload. Now, as an example, I'm gonna show you a clip that I've uploaded to my main channel, and comparing this now to uploading that exact same clip to a channel that doesn't get a lot of views regularly. Now on the channel where I don't get a lot of views, when I go to right click and stats for nerd, you can see that the video is encoded in AVC. Now if you compare this to my main channel, so if you also click on stats for nerds, we can see that on the main channel, the video is actually encoded in VP9. Now if you compare the quality of these two codecs, we can clearly see that the VP9 codec is much superior over AVC. Let's just have a look, for example, at these leaves here. You can see they get deteriorated quite significantly in AVC. And also if you have a look at the text here, you can hardly even read it with the AVC codec. So this example clearly shows that, well, this is AVC, the quality is much worse for people that upload the exactly same quality footage onto YouTube simply because they don't have a lot of views. So obviously you want to get VP9 on all of your videos in order for them to look as good as possible. But if you're a small channel, how can you actually force VP9 on your videos? Let's find out. So in fact, there are three different ways how you can get VP9 on your videos. Now the first and most obvious one is to get a lot of views and a lot of traffic on your videos. But why is it that YouTube actually internally makes this distinction between small and large channels? Now from my understanding, and this is obviously just speculation, uh, what I think happens behind the scenes is that encoding your video in VP9 takes a lot of time. On the other hand, VP9 encoded videos are also significantly smaller than their AVC counterparts. Now here you can see a comparison between the exact same clip uploaded to YouTube once encoded in VP9 on the right hand side. You can see it is around 33 megabytes of size. And on the left hand side you can see the AVC encoded video which is about 10 megabytes larger. So VP9 does not only look better, it's also producing the smaller file sizes. And I think that from YouTube's perspective, if you have a small channel that doesn't get an awful lot of viewers, encoding your videos in VP9 is just not feasible. The gain in less throughput being used up by the VP9 encoded video doesn't justify the much higher performance being used up in actually producing that VP9 video for a channel that doesn't get an awful lot of views. But what can you do if you don't yet have a huge channel and still want to get the VP9 codec? Thankfully, I have option number two, which is anyways recommended by me personally, and that is uploading your videos in 1440p. So here we are back on my low number of views account, and you can see I've uploaded the very same clip here at 1440p, and the video is immediately being encoded in VP9. Now another huge advantage of uploading in 1440p is that the 1440p version of your video gets a much higher bitrate assigned by YouTube and therefore looks much better than your 1080p video originally. So here we have the 1080p version of the video that is encoded in VP9. And now we switch over to the 1440p version which is also in uh, VP9 but obviously looks much nicer. Now, don't worry if you only record your videos in 1080p. You can still add some sharpener in your video production suite and then simply render your video in 1440p. The result is not gonna look blurry. I can guarantee you that. If you don't believe me, I have left a link to a video in the description below that I have actually uh, recorded in 1080p and then upscaled to 4K resolution and it looks absolutely gorgeous on YouTube. If you're interested in my render settings, then check out this video where I show you how I render my videos in 1440p. Now, if the file sizes are too large or you simply don't have the time to render your videos in 1440p, I do have a third option on how you can force VP9 on all of your videos. And this method is actually really easy. Simply go to the video manager, click on enhancements, 
go to trim and just cut a tiny wincy little bit off the end of your video. Click on done. And very importantly, click on save. Don't click on save as new video because that will produce a horrible looking video for some reason. Simply click on save. And after a few hours, your video will be re-encoded in VP9. Now to fast things up a little bit, I actually have done this already to the exactly same clip here. So you can see this video here is uploaded in 1080p on my account that doesn't have a lot of views. And if you go to Stats for Nerds, we can see the video is encoded in glorious VP9. Now a small word of caution using this method is that from my understanding, what YouTube is doing here is they actually use your original video to re-encode the video in VP9. They don't use the old ABC encoded video to, you, to do VP9 out of it, because that obviously would create a very poor looking video. Now, unfortunately, if it has been a bit of a while since you've uploaded your video, it might be that the original video is no longer available on the YouTube servers and therefore this method is not going to yield you nice quality. You really only can do this with recent videos, ones that you've just uploaded. I mean, I tried this out with videos that I've uploaded about a day ago or so. Um, but if the video has been uploaded maybe a year ago, this might not work. And in that case, all you're stuck with is actually re-uploading your video, waiting for it to be processed, and then trimming a bit at the end of the video. Now, another thing you might want to do is you might want to render your videos for a bit longer than they actually last. So kind of render a bit of emptiness at the end, which you can then trim in the YouTube enhancement tab. Now let's move on to a quick comparison of the quality that you can expect using these different methods. What you can see on screen right now is simply uploading your video and getting the VP9 codec due to having a high number of viewers. You can see that there isn't a great amount of image deterioration and basically everything looks really nice. Now moving over to getting the VP9 codec by uploading in 1440p, we can see that the image still looks very nice and in some cases, for example, on the text, it actually looks a little bit better than getting VP9 on the 1080p upload. Next, let's have a look at the quality that you can expect when you upload in 1080p but you don't have a lot of viewers, uh, so you decide to trim the end of your video. Uh, you can see the quality looks really nice and let's compare this to initially getting VP9 on a channel with high number of views you can see that there is pretty much no difference. And finally, let's have a look at how your video will look like if you simply upload it to YouTube in 1080p and you don't get the VP9 codec. So this is AVC encoding, and obviously I've chosen a frame that looks rather horrible in AVC, but in the worst case scenario, you're getting this quality for AVC, and simply by trimming your video, you can improve the video quality like so. And to wrap things up, I have even computed the PSNR value for each of the YouTube encoded videos uh, compared to an original video to see kind of the quality degradation of the different approaches. So on the graph, you can see the three approaches to get VP9 on your videos produce right about the same PSNR values. And if you compare this to the ABC encoded video, we can see that clearly VP9 is much superior. But that's it for today guys, for those of you who have been looking around a little bit closer, you might have seen that I do have a RTX graphics card standing right behind me, which will be the topic of the next video. But until then, thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.